So people are probably like, oh my God, did you really have you? Are you serious? Like you just, you just got the put that. Bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, saucy, chip and swag goo. You a bad girl and your friends bad too. Oh, he got the swag, saucy, chip and swag goo. Oh. by the title it is going to be a story I'm time i'm gonna finish the video i'm hoping i'm gonna be able to finish it all in one take because i'm supposed to be going to a game later and i wanted to make sure i got filming done before i left so, so i was right. like going through like my memories like in my head like okay so i want to tell a story time and i have a lot of crazy crazy story times i'm thinking like just because i'm thinking about them i can't think about a story time and then a really good one came to my head. I'm like, that was a really funny situation. And I found it because I was just so happened to be going through my Google Photos and I see, found screenshots. So that's how I came up with this idea. This is just a disclaimer. I don't know. I don't know what I was thinking at this time. I don't. I, I just, I, I think I felt like wasting my time. I, that's what I'm so I was just vibing with this guy. We had we were very close because we like our personalities were very very similar, very goofy, very like very never really serious, like always laughing. You know, this kid was a very well known basketball player, um, so like very well known, and so he knew other basketball players. And I'm just gonna throw that out there now. So like right off the bat, when we started like talking or whatever you wanna call it. He was kind of like, oh, like, do you see yourself being with me? Da, 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 da. And I'm like thinking in my head, like, hey, this, this man crazy. I could be a mass murderer and he wouldn't even know because we're not even from, um, we're not from the same place, but like, we're kind of, we're not close, but we are close at the same time, if you know what I'm saying. So, but he doesn't, he didn't go to school where he lived, so he went to school somewhere else. So it was kind of like, Way up. And he always used to like randomly accuse me, like randomly at the most random times, like, oh, you're talking to other people, go text the people that are in your DMs, da, 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 da. all those guys in your DMs, why don't you go reply to them? Like, I just asked how your day was, bro. Like, so you kind of get the gist of what type of person this guy was. He was a very, he was a very um, controlling person, very jealous, like, jealous very quickly, like, jealous, boom, jealous, jealous, jealous. Jealous. One day I was like, I was at home and then he FaceTimed me. It was like at night and he was so mad. I'm like, like, are you, are you good? You, you straight? Like, you okay? He was like, this girl's getting on my nerves. Like, I'm so mad right now. Like, I could really punch somebody. Like, just going off. And I'm like wondering, like, what the, what the hell are you talking about, bro? And then he tells me, like, some girl he used to talk to, whatever the case may be, mess with, whatever was calling his phone, like, telling him, like, oh, I miss you, I want you back, she was crying, and blah, 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 and I guess, like, the same chick, like, be calling his friends, saying, oh, what kind of shoes can I get him, what size is he, like, what pants, like, basically trying and to buy me, kidding. brought me up, he was like, oh, no, I'm, I'm messing with someone, I'm talking to someone, whatever the case may be, and she said, I don't care, I hope y'all don't work out, da, 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 da. like, no, 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 she can't have you. I ended up DMing her, and I didn't, like, come at her crazy, I just DMed her, like, why are you DMing, why are you calling, um, okay, for the sake of the story, we're gonna call him Joke, because that's what that whole thing was, this whole thing was, was a like, joke. Why are you calling Joke's phone, like, why are you blowing his phone up, why are you telling him this, that, and the third about me? And she replies, yeah, I was calling his phone. I was like, yes, I'm, a, I'm aware. Why? And she was like, because I was with him last Sunday. Okay. I thought real hard. I'm like, yo, this kid was in that state last week for a tournament. So then I text him and I'm like, I don't know, I don't remember exactly what I said, but I'm like, so da 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 da. And he tried to flip it on me, like I was the bad. Why did you DM her? Da, 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 da. Now she's never gonna leave me alone. Like I can't believe you did this. You hurt me. Like I'm gonna be hurt right now. I care about you so much. And blah blah blah. And like you just really tried to flip this on me because I DM'd her and like you're basically like getting caught right now. With him, she's still trying to argue with me on, in my DMs. 
So just to give you a gist of what type of female she is, I'm gonna... Who says that? Who says that? That's so, so now we're all aware of what type of girl I'm So dealing. she's going back and forth with me in my DMs, and then all of a sudden the whole like vibe of the conversation She changed. said, I put your face in my whole guy group chat, and the whole hood knew you were fair Let's play. keep in mind now, we are from all the way like to West Coast, East Coast. Like We are from two different places. In the At the end of the conversation, she says, you're a cleat chaser. I've never heard that word before, so I was assuming it was like a term from down there, from where there. Then, from. like an hour later, Joke texts me like, "You violated," and I'm like, "What is this kid talking?" Me a screenshot of messages in a group chat, and they were basically everything was scribbled out, like everything, everything was scribbled out, the name, the contacts, everything was scribbled out. Only thing that was left was messages, and in that screenshot, someone dropped a picture of me oh. in the group chat. I still have the screenshot, so this is what they look like, right here, and right here. So just, I don't know if you could read them. But basically, they're saying that someone dropped a picture of me in that group chat, and someone was like, "Oh, she's for the whole hood. Everybody isn't, isn't she? Da 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 da. Like she's a hoe. Some." And then I read the last message of the whole group chat, and it says, "I heard she's a cleat chaser." While he was over there being upset, I was over here analyzing these screenshots. And I got down to the these screenshots and I realized everything was scribbled out. So I'm like, I read behind the scribbles. So I made notes in my notes about the screenshot. And I'm going to put my notes right here because I still have them. So this is what I wrote in my notes. So to explain my notes, the first thing I did when I was analyzing the screenshot, I look at the phone service the person had. And I'm like, dang, like I don't know what service Joke has. So I went to our details and one time he sent me a picture of uh, a screenshot of his home screen or something like that. And I seen the service at the top. Didn't have the same service that the screenshot had. Because they tried to scribble out the service in the screenshot. This but girl, I that apparently is psycho. So I'm like, this, so I'm like, okay. I could be crazy, but I'm just going to do it anyway. So I go on her Twitter and I look through her Twitter pictures. Like hoping I find a screenshot of her lock screen or something. Which I did. And when I looked at it. She had the same phone service as where the screenshot came from. I'm like, coincidence? Uh, I think apparently this screenshot was from a, like a group chat of D1 athletes. And they were basically saying that they had the all been FaceTime was scribbled out. And I read behind the scribble, it said 56 minutes. So it was basically almost an hour FaceTime call. And while this is all happening in the group chat. So I'm like, okay, like this girl is probably on FaceTime right now with her friends telling her friends what to put and in this group chat. more into the screenshot and then like in between messages it was scribbled out someone was added in the conversation so that same person that was added to the conversation commented like texted in that group chat something about me and i'm thinking like so how would you know who they're talking about if you just got added into the group chat you didn't even see the picture that they dropped because you just got added into the group and chat. under that the conversation had been changed to three basketball emojis they tried to screw that out too but it said three basketball emojis and the top was three basketball emojis so i'm assuming that was the group chat name being changed but what guys in the middle of calling somebody a whore is going to change their group chat name to three basketballs let's be realistic so now. at this point i realize i'm being set up like this girl is trying to set me up and it's falling out perfectly like he's believing it and this is crazy like this girl really went out her way to create a whole fake group chat acting like a bunch of d1 basketball players with her with her friends saying that they so at this point joke was already like he was already all set he was already done talking to me so i texted him that next day like call me when you can he ended up facetiming me later on that night and i hit him with the carfax i pulled out i pulled out my my notes again i'm gonna drop my notes right here i pulled out my notes again and read them out to him. I, I hit him with the car from serious to he started smiling. Like, and then he was like, "Yo, you're really crazy. Like, you really just found this all out from a script without a screenshot. Like, yes, like you're not about to throw dirt on my name and not and just and just I mean believe it like that. Like, of course, like who do you, what do you think this is? Fine. He's just like, all right, so it's it's whatever. And then you have this whole week. That whole week. He was going back and forth every day. One day he'd be fine, and the next day he'd be like, "Oh no, like I'm still skeptical. Like I really, like, I like he really in his head believed this. Like he believed this was true. Like that this was true. I gave him the car facts. I hit him with all the facts, and he still 
believed it was true. Do you really think that she would go through all that trouble to create a fake group chat to set you up? My dude, yes. Yes, I totally and honestly believe that. Like, what's good with you? At this point, he was just really grinding my gears. And I'm like, I'm not about to go back and forth with you all week. And he's like, oh, see, you, you don't even want to give me time. Like, I thought you were the one and blah, 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 blah. Just, mind you, none of this even seems realistic. Like, if you, if you have any type of common sense, as any human being should, you'd understand none of this made sense. Or she's... All these guys that they were like trying to throw on me, like I'm not gonna put their names out there, but all these D1 like NBA prospects, like all live in different parts of the country, like nowhere near me. None of them live anywhere near me within like a, a 2,000 mile radius, 20,000 mile radius. None of them were not then one day he texts me on the complete nonsense, talking just straight nonsense, like oh, I know, like, you're lying. I know you're lying now. Like, I got the Carfax. No, no, son. I already hit you with the Carfax, and he wants to flip the script around on me. Because he was the one in the room. This dork really tried to sit here and convince me what he was telling me was true. Like, you're about to try and convince me about my own self. Like, he, he was just so dumb. So dumb. I think it might have been that night. He called me, like, I can't do this anymore. Like, I can't. I can't do it anymore. Like, I just can't deal with it. Like, it's too hot. But I'm like, I'm like, all right, like, bye. Like, I'm not about to sit here and and, and argue with you no more. I'm not going to argue with your, your ugly self. I'm not going to do none of that. Yes, I said ugly because he really was not that cute. I'm, and I'm not even saying this because it's happened. Like, I'm being so dead at Me and him had a streak on Snapchat. And after he had called me and said all that, he had kept the streak with me and kept streaking me every day. And I was just like, no, like, no, this is not what's about to go down. Because you know what he would do? He would streak his streaks when reality it was just me. Like, lyrics about girls, like, hey, he hit me with some A Boogie lyrics, like, these, these B's be for everybody, F it, they for everybody, like, I know you didn't send that to your streaks. I know you didn't send that to your streaks, I know like, you just said you're not about to streak me every day these lyrics because your feelings are hurt. Like, you're not about to streak me these A Boogie lyrics every day, these Drake lyrics. Like, might as well be saying Keisha Cole to me at this point because you're just being over dramatic. Within that same week, he's streaking me. This is what I really like. This is when I really drew the line. I'm like, yo, this kid is, like, he's totally out of his mind right so now. So he streaks me one day and said when she doesn't answer the phone. And I'm thinking, like, he ain't called me. So, and I know he's not talking about out, me. There's a new girl. And I'm thinking in my head, like, hmm. So all this happened, he flipped all this on me, and a week later, he has a new girl. So you're gonna tell me that you were just all of a sudden posting about this girl? No, you were talking to both of us at the same time, which is when everything started coming together. Like, you try to flip the script, you try to believe this. This situation, I'm, I'm sure he didn't set the situation up, but I'm sure it just fell into place perfectly where he could just turn it on me so he can like be okay with what he was doing. sitting here thinking like, yeah, you were really crazy. Like, and you thought that I wasn't gonna find out because little of these people know, like I try and tell people all the time, I wanna be an FBI agent and I will, I will go to the ends of the earth to find stuff out. Like he, he thought I was just gonna let it fly and just be like, all right, like you're right, you're right. No, you're wrong. Mind you're wrong. My friend through me, and one of his good friends is with my one of my good friends, and he would call her or be in the same room at the same time when they're on the phone and just start talking about me. They just start talking nonsense. Like, oh, you're just like your friend. Like these Massachusetts girls. Da, 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 these Massachusetts girls. Da, these Massachusetts girls. That. Shut up. Your feelings are obvious. All right, guys. That was the end of my story time. I hope you liked it. Um, I will be coming with way more story time because I have a lot of stories to tell and I'm going to be trying to get them together, to, together, I don't know what that is. I'm going to be trying to get them together over like the next couple of weeks. Like I'm going to like alternate videos. Like I'm probably not going to do a story time and then a story time. I'm probably going to put them in between videos like and gather my thoughts over the week and write it in my notes so I don't like I forget. If you like this video, like and subscribe. Um, I'm going to be taking like video requests. So if you ever want me to do a specific video, you can just DM me on Instagram. I'll list my social medias below, my, my Instagram, my Twitter, my Snapchat. I do check all my DMs, all my DM requests, so I will see it. Um, like whatever you request me to do. And just let me know if you like this story time. And yeah, I'm out.